So Coach Prime adds the 10th assistant coach that will be coaching players on the field, which is technically the final position that need to be filled at defensive tackle coach, which is Patrick Hill from LSU. Let's talk about him as well as a Buffs legend that will be coming back as an ambassador. All that coming up here in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports. Thanks for tuning in to the YouTube channel. Let's dive right into this as Patrick Hill has been announced as the 10th on-field coach for the Colorado Buffaloes. Coach Prime has filled that part of it out, and there's still one position I'm curious about. We'll talk about that a little later. But before we do that, hop in the comments. You know the drill. We want to know how you feel about this new coaching staff that is now complete for Colorado. Got that defensive tackle coach. Patrick Hill right next to defensive end coach Nick Williams. And supposedly a lot of people speak highly of Coach Hill. So we're going to talk about that more in detail as well as the new ambassador, Darian Hagan, Buffs legend that will be joining the staff as, like I said, an ambassador. So hop in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. If you're new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. We'd love to have you a part of the community. We're growing fast and we want to keep bringing this content out to you and Give you what you want to see. So let's talk about this. Coach Patrick Hill joining the staff at Colorado. Now, let's pull him up so you guys get a visual. I've been attacked numerous times by Buff fans wanting to see visuals of the coaches. Here you go. Now, the news was broken by Matt Zenith over there on three. And he put out the reports that um, LSU defensive analyst Patrick Hill is going to be joining Coach Prime staff in Colorado. And... He spent 2021 as D-line coach at Division Three Birmingham Southern, and then he forgo an opportunity to take an assistant job to be an analyst at LSU, which got him at the Division One rank, getting him more Power Five experience. And he was right next to Jamar Kane, who was at LSU, who came from Oklahoma once Brian Kelly took the job at LSU. And so you're seeing that coach has some experience he he's originally from Shreveport Louisiana he played collegiately and got his bachelor's and master's degree from Concordia Chicago where he played and he started coaching there from 08 to 12 and went from there he did some moving around took a job over at West Virginia State James Madison all the way through Moorhead State Central Oklahoma ended up in 21 at Birmingham Southern, and then as a defensive assistant to Jamar Cain over at LSU. So he's got the experience, SEC experience, and he's young. So, you know, coming out in 2008, that shows you that he's he's still a young, young guy. So this is a great opportunity to bring up new coaches into the world, which Coach Prime said that he wanted to do, while adding them to a mix of a bunch of veteran coaches, which is what Coach Prime did. Smartest thing you can do if you want to build the right type of staff. You can't bring a whole bunch of green people in, as you would call it, newer people. You want to bring in people to have the experience and then bring in those that are still young in the game that you can teach to be good. So Coach Prime is doing exactly what he said he wanted to do, and it's happening. He's bringing in people with great ties to the SEC because, truth be told, that's the conference that you want to be like. So this is Coach Patrick Hill joining the staff. You will see him as the defensive tackle coach and the great thing for him is that he's got some weapons to play with you know Tosh Austin Shane Cox Marshawn Neely Jr. all were recently announced as transfers into Colorado and so he will have some toys to play with as well as some returning players there as well so super stoked hop in the comments tell me what you think about Patrick Hill coming over to coach the defensive tackles as well as his ties to the south and the SEC he also has NFL ties. He did some work with the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. So, I mean, you can't beat that, right? That's what these players want. They want opportunities to go pro. He is there to give them that. So hop in the comments. Let me know what you think. And so let's talk about this former Buffs legend that will be joining the staff as well. So Darian Hagan will be joining the Buffs as a ambassador. Now, he has spent the past 18 years as a staff member at Colorado, he was former quarterback in the uh, 1989, 90, and 91. 
some of the most successful times at Colorado. He was one of the first six players in college football history to throw 4,000 and rush for 1,000 yards in college football. And so you know he's a legend. He's a big deal. And he is joining on, like I said, as an ambassador. He's not going to be coaching full-time, but he'll be there when Coach Prime can't be while at the same time, you know, doing the stuff that ambassadors do. Shaking hands, kissing babies, helping with fundraising, helping with the collectives and all of that. Something that you're going to need in order to be successful long-term in college football, especially now in the NIL era. He's been, like I said, a big impact just for the organization itself. You know, he's been around and helping with coaching players. He helped, he was a running back coach since like 05. He helped with some thousand yard rushers from Rodney Stewart, Philip Lindsay and Trayvon McMillan. So having an experienced coach and former legend, to be back as an ambassador, to me, is a pretty big deal. Um, it's always good to bring the old heads back, and they'll always help with bringing in the youth, especially if the youth has watched Colorado football in the past. They understand just how instrumental this person was in what's going on in Colorado Buffalo football. So hop in the comments. Let me know what you think about uh, new, the new ambassador, Darian Hagan, making his return to Colorado to help out Coach Prime and his staff. So thank you all for pulling up on the channel. Hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We would love to have you as part of the family as we grow. And with that, I'm going to talk about the players that Shadur Sanders will be throwing the ball to next season um, in the next video. We'll chop it up a few hours. Peace. Peace.